Hey friends, hey family, como estas? Bienvenidos. It's your girl, Melissa Q, back with another video. And as you can tell from the title, this is January favorites. Actually, this is also December because it's what I have been like putting on my face, using it not stop on my body. I have lifestyle. I have fragrance. I have makeup. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah. Let's start off with lifestyle just because I feel like mm, this one is so good and it's really changed like my health for the better and it's from a brand called Hum. I've been using Hum for about two years. You can find them in Sephora but you can also they have a website and this superfood powder is amazing. It says it helps boost energy. Check. Radiant skin, check. Metabolism with raw greens, adaptogens, enzymes, and probiotics. It is amazing. So you get your fiber, your fruit, and vegetable blend. You get your um, adaptogenic blend, which is that, that's like your licorice root, your ginseng. That's that all of the energy. And then the superfood blend is the organic barley grass with the wheat grass, the corella, um with the spirula and alfalfa grass so you get like a little bit of everything it's 30 servings in here this is vegan it's a dietary supplement i really really enjoy it you can put it in your smoothie or you can put it in citrus not citrus the only thing they say is not to put it in citrus like a citrus type of drink i think but i love using this so much and you know I'm not a health professional, but I really do like this. I think it helps me with my energy. And so this would be a great pre and post workout type of drink. And you can put it in your smoothie. You can drink it by itself. You can put it in your tea. I really like it. It's really good. And two other products that I really like from them is Uber Energy. So if you don't want the raw, raw superfoods, this one is it has adaptogenic. Um, adaptogens I'm sorry has b6 and b5 in it um, I really like this and this is for adrenal strength so I really like these before I go to the gym and then the other one is beauty z's this one I have an issue sometimes with like making my brain like just shut off is anybody with me on that I my brain is just like going 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 and until I close my eyes I have to have like no sound nothing going on um the lights off in order for me to go to sleep so this actually you take 20 minutes before you go to bed and it helps with like essential for normal sleep patterns and i really really like it oh this superfood does come in different flavors this one is tahitian vanilla and berry infusion my favorite is the coconut one and then they also have a mint chocolate chip so yummy all of these are good and ah, I'm on my second of the coconut. That's how good it is. Anyway, let's move on to some hair care. And y'all know I have been talking about this. Oh my goodness. And y'all have been raving about this. This is the Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic Fenugreek Mask Treatment by Sotanicals. Amazing. I do have a review on this, so I'm not going to like prolong, uh, you know, go too far into it. But this slip is amazing. Check. Um, product is amazing doesn't make my hair grow can't tell not yet but this it does have some really great ingredients ingredients that I can understand and this makes me feel really really good versus what has been going on with diva curl I'm just saying and let me just say something about that really quickly okay um, I'm kind of taken aback at the fact that they are not saying anything now I know you're in the class action lawsuit but I'm an I was an ambassador okay and I'm saying I was an ambassador because I don't even know what the ambassadors are doing right now a lot of the ambassadors are coming forward about their hair and I uh, I a claim that it was due to stress that I was having a lot of hair loss and I didn't even say that it was diva curl because at the time I didn't know and because I don't know I have a whole video on it I'm not using diva curl products so you won't see them in any of my favorites videos because I'm not going to be using them right now I want to get my hair back to a level as 
you know it was before it was more full more vibrant it was longer it was shinier i had less breakage which i've been getting a lot of breakage it's very short in the top which is the reason why i want to do a big chop y'all this is a favorites video i don't want to get all into like my hair about this but this makes me feel better about what i'm going back to and it smells like blue magic okay so I love it. One that I love, but the packaging is less to be desired, is the Camille Rose Cleansing Milk with Flaxseed Milk and Rose Powder. This is another brand that has been tried and true, and I love their products so much just because High Porosity hair loves, they have a lot of um, on the line, they have a lot in their line that is not glycerin, does not contain glycerin, it's glycerin free. So that's one of the pluses but the other thing I really like about it is that I can understand the ingredients list so they have a lot of great products and a lot of great ingredients in their a lot of their products this one because of the packaging this is a thick milk to cleanse the hair and it did a really great job detangling what is a big thing especially for my high porosity hair this did an amazing job with you know cleansing my hair but it's the packaging it's very very thick and you know I hope that they come out with a tube there were some other products there were some other like cleansing milks or you know different things to cleanse the hair along the same line and the only reason why I didn't purchase it is because of this packaging I just don't like it and I probably wouldn't pick it up as good as the product is I would not pick it up because of the packaging and that lets you see it tells you how important packaging is with the product um i just want to pick it up because of that so that's a pass so let's move on to fragrance ysl black opium absolutely love this it's dark it's warm it's amber it's musk it is everything that i want and it's long lasting that's why it will forever be in my collection as you can tell i'm almost done with this one i am I have this in a project pan just because this is an older bottle and although it's old y'all it has kept its staying power i want to say this is like one that's maybe three or four years old in my collection i'm gonna purchase it again but i just wanted to come because i have been spraying this non-stop and it smells so good oh this is like one of my favorite this is probably my favorite most used scent in my collection let me know if you want to see a perfume collection i know that's really big on youtube a lot of my, my collection is not as big as everyone else's, but I do have quite a few fragrances and I love them. The one that I'm wearing today is a dupe to a product that I talked about that is extremely expensive by the fireplace by um, Margella. It is expensive. It's $125 for that bottle. Go check it out on Sephora. It is amazing. It's one that's highly buzzed, but I want to come with a dupe and y'all, this is $44 for a two ounce bottle okay holla if you hear me that one's 2.7 or i think it might be is it 2.7 it might be 3.4 anyway it's more expensive and even if you bought this twice which you would get four ounces which i know is more than that it would be 88 dollars versus 125 dollars this stays on just as long it does not contain as much smoke as by the fireplace but it is smoky it has that like warm cashmere it has that creamy scent it to me is like daytime sexy it's so nice it's so beautiful and when it, it's one of those distinct like when you go by somebody somebody's head is gonna be turning I'm just saying and this is by philosophy you guys $44 I did get it during the Christmas holiday so it did come with a complimentary travel size which was 0.5 half an ounce you guys so this is my larger bottle I do have the travel size and yeah really really love this but i'm telling y'all this is a dupe to the by the fireplace so if you don't want to break the bank with by the fireplace go on over to ulsa i think that this is seasonal by the fireplace is sold year round so if you want to get this for year round go ahead and pick it up now um i don't think that i have not seen this year round with ulta but i i, I did pick mine up from ulta let's move into some makeup and I'm going to talk about my favorite favorites, okay? ColourPop. Affordable, right? Why haven't I been getting the bronzers? This is amazing. This is Afternoon Delight. 
and I did use this in like a trying new products trying new makeup this is amazing it reminds me a lot of my Pro Bounds Fusion so if you are loving the Pro Bounds Fusion by Makeup Forever bronzer in 30m afternoon delight reminds me a lot of it it has that warmth it's very very smooth it feels like the eyeshadows to me like that smoothness of the eyeshadows and it's what i have on today it warms my face up perfectly and i you know i tend to like more of the more warmth than the neutral more on the warm side but i really really love ColourPop's bronzers and I do have one more but I've been killing this afternoon delight I love it so much and it's very very smooth it rivals a lot of the high-end bronzers and I am a bronze fanatic I'm just saying let's talk about this powder okay minted their powder I want to say this is called the silk powder it is amazing okay i love the fact that it's a powder that does not dry me out but it's for women of color um this one is in medium deep just so you can see it i probably won't use this until the summertime when i can use it and i might even use it as a bronzer but this um one in light tan is amazing you can use this this is like a translucent powder for women of color because y'all know translucent powder the ones that are stark white make us look white you know has that white cast on it so this one has a yellow undertone which i feel like is perfect for women of color i can use this under my eyes i can use it all over my face and don't and don't have to worry about it but it locks in my foundation and i will say that my makeup lasts longer when i use that technique in conjunction with the tati blendiful i have the other one and it's drying but this one y'all is so cute i love to use this for my concealer and for padding around my nose and under eye the only thing that i wish is that well i wish it had three things okay so tati said she was open for suggestions and open you know constructive thinking and innovation for her product it's definitely intuitive like she said but and like others have said but let me tell you i wish that this had a compact maybe even like you know something i know this is makeup geek but pretend it's not okay you you could have this and put this in there and it has a mirror you can touch up genius that's the first suggestion second one is that i wish i just saw one of tati's videos and i wish that tati spoke on all the suggestive ways that you can use this she was talking about using it to put on like her tanner use it for like body glitter or like body shimmer i was like i didn't even think about that i would have bought two and i know i know that's upselling and everything but you know i would love one for my face one for my body that i didn't have to interchange so when i'm doing this i don't have to put on makeup and all the other stuff that's on it i wish it had a suggestion and putting it on the packaging okay and the other thing is putting instructions because I, if i wanted to buy this as a gift everybody is not like internet savvy and would go to her website and so like if i want to buy this for my grandma yes i call my grandma grandma or my grandmama if i want to talk if i want to give this to my grandma i she's not gonna go online and figure out all the different ways but she loves playing with makeup too i think that this is a universal product but i think it also instructions and the packaging needs to be universal as well i think that this is an amazing product hands down this i have not been able to put this down and organically not just because it's tati or anything like that but i have been i can't put this down and i use this on with creams with powders with my I corrected like putting on too much blush this was perfect because I don't want to pick up anything but I just want to pat out pat it out so good and for like locking I'm telling you since I've used this my makeup has been staying on longer and I do feel like it's because pressing the product into the skin as well as you know I feel like this is like second hands like fingers or whatever without warming up the product I'm just saying I stayed on that too long yeah I know Makeup Geek, Midnight Sun. Really have been enjoying this. This reminds me a lot, a lot of 
NARS Ibiza. So if you weren't able to pick up NARS Ibiza, which I don't even think they make anymore. NARS does that sometimes. Makeup Geek. Um, and I know she relaunched. So hopefully she brings this back. But this Midnight Sun is beautiful. It is a beautiful shade for women of color. I thought that it was chalky when I first put it on. But when you put this on the skin, the body heat or something, it does something. It does something. It looks powder, powdery in the pan, kind of, like a, a face powder. But this blends out onto onto the skin. If you notice, I'm keep, I keep swatching. is because it keeps blending on into the skin. And that's what you want to me you don't want your highlighter to like sit on top of the skin you know what or be a streak where it doesn't blend out you want something smooth enough and has that staying power and this is so good okay moving on minted blushes this one is in clay too much i love this amazing for eyeshadows this is like an ideal eyeshadow right but i love the fact that this is highly pigment for women of color it is use a light hand y'all and when I say a light hand, you might need to use something and tap into it and then use the bottom of the ferrule. Do y'all see how much it picked up and applied? It picked up on this and I'm using the bottom of the ferrule and I'm brushing it on. See how much deposits onto the skin. It is insane, but it's such a beautiful color. So use a light hand. And even when you use a light hand, blend it out. I'm just saying. And this is like a duster. And look how much. Pro I'm just saying. This is such a good <laughs> product. But it's highly pigmented. It's going to last forever. So if you just wanted one blush in your collection, this is highly pig pigmented. It lasts forever. Reminds me a lot of MAC Shadows with like a kick. I'm just saying. Okay. This is such an underrated mascara, I feel like. And I am a mascara connoisseur, okay? If you love the Total Temptation by Maybelline, this is like Total Temptation on another level. This is the Dior Dior Show Pump and Volume Mascara. I love this mascara so much. I thought it was overhyped um, just because I was like, what are they doing? You gotta pump this. But actually, you can feel like you're warming up the product by pumping it and you are distributing the product and you are taking off products as you move it out of the tube. I love this so much. I get length and volume, which is what I want in a mascara. I just don't want volume. I just don't want length. I need both. Los dos. You know what I'm saying? So I really like this. Let's talk about complexion products. At the drugstore, I know, a total extreme. But I feel like this one is kind of comparable, but this was more on the warmer side if you're my skin tone. And this one is an 8-in-1 Beauty Balm, and it has SPF 20, uh, I'm sorry, SPF 30 in it. And it is the BB Fresh. I go through these. I've gone through maybe about four or five of these tubes, and that says a lot because I have a lot of foundations. I love trying foundations. So for me to go have gone through, I want to say this is like my fourth or fifth one is a big thing i love this just for like putting on moisturizer slathering over my face making my skin even tone before taking the kids to school because i don't have time to put on makeup this is amazing so i love it let's talk about a couple of palettes and then we will be done i know palettes is one of my favorite things to try out and i love them so much so i actually have three to talk about and um, a palette that I actually constructed from my singles. Let's talk about this one first. This one is Makeup Geek Daydreamer. This is what I have on my lid right now. I love it so much. I also like Ipsy Formulation. This one is in Matte About Ipsy. And this also Ofra. Nobody talks about Ofra eyeshadows, but they're really good. This one is in the shade Smoke. It's such a beautiful shade. Um, if you like cool tones, you're going to like those eyeshadows. I do have some other ones in here, but this is for my pan, those eyeshadows. I am trying to get some more use of my single eyeshadows, so that's that. Another one that I have been loving is the Mayel Soiree Eyeshadow Collection. This one is the shades are Mart Martini Prosecco Magic Hour All Nighter Malo and Midnight. First of all, thank you for the mirror. Thank you so much. These are so beautiful and they rival a lot of the other eyeshadows that I have. This, these three right here, one, two, one, 
two, three, reminds me of the Jackie Aina palette. Okay, so I love the fact that I uh, I have kind of like a mini Anastasia, like all shimmer palette. That's basically what this is, I feel like. And um, I, t I take this with me traveling when I want to have some neutral shades, but I want some pops of color. You can use this for warm, cool tone, neutral, you know. So this is perfect, even if you want to take this and maybe like a Z palette and you're done with travel. Another palette I have been loving is one is warm tone, one is cool tone. Proof is in the pudding. I, I haven't been able to put this down. Despite the fact that it does not have a mirror, y'all know it has to be a big deal if it doesn't have a mirror because that is a game changer for me. But these are so beautiful. It blends like a dream. It reminds, reminds me a lot, a lot of Natasha Denona like formulation. Um, I, I just want to give you something to compare to. And it is woman of color friendly. We love that. And they're not too bright. They're not too ashy. This rice pudding is like the perfect cream that I feel like every every palette should have. But I love that it goes deep, but not too crazy, but on the warm side. So if you're a warm tone girl, this is a beautiful palette. It has, what, nine shades? But I feel like it hits the mark with the shade selection and the color payoff on both their shimmers and their mattes. Their mattes are amazing. I can't stop using this palette another palette that is not talked about is the what is this this is the winky Lux cashmere kitten palette this is so good now this one has some amazing cool tones now if you can tell it also has warm tones in it too but when i have gray on i use i wear a lot of i have like a mix of shades of colors in my in my wardrobe but I wear tend to wear a lot of black white and gray when I'm wearing gray like this I like to go in a palette like this and this palette in conjunction with this one is what I have on my eyes today and so I just ah oh, it's just so good so good guys those are my January favorites I was not gonna come with January favorites but I was like I have too much to talk to you guys about and I have been killing this also in the month of December so hope you guys enjoy this comment and let me know have you tried any of these do you love them do you hate them do you want me to come back with a perfume collection video let me know in the comments and let's get the conversation started I will see you there and I'll see you in the next video Bye.